Lathe Tailstock Repair, Fixing a Stiff Quill. Morning. So the problem with this lathe here is that the tailstock is stiff. Um, probably from overloading it at a full extension and distorting the threads in the brass, uh, the brass nut. What we're going to do is we're going to take it apart. We're going to chase a top through the brass nut, uh, clean it out, lubricate it, and get this get this tailstock to uh, perform perfectly again. What we're going to do now is we're going to take the stop bolt out of the uh, the bed of the lathe. This prevents the tailstock from inadvertently ending up on the floor. I have a cart that's the right height for this. That's tail stock removal. I put the bolt back in so I don't lose it, so uh, it doesn't end up in the garbage while I'm working on this machine. All right, so the plan is to get this tail stock apart. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it up in the vise. It's a bit of a beast. That is quite a big one. We'll secure it so it doesn't end up on the floor. Okay, so how this is retained is uh, we have a keyed dowel that slips in from the bottom and then a retaining uh, set screw to hold that keyed dowel in place. So hopefully it comes apart easily. In this cross section view, it will help you visualize where the screw and the guide key fit together. I just undo this, uh, this set screw. And then it's a, uh, it's a pull dowel, so I'll just reach up there with a the screw, hook onto it, and draw it out. So that was pretty nice and easy. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this out. I'm using quite a bit of force actually to turn this out, which is uh, not what you want in the tailstock. So. so there's the brass nut. So. I've got two theories on what's going on. Uh, either there's chips getting in through the, uh, the knockout window here, or, um, or it's under too much force when the, 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 uh, the thread is partway through the nut and is putting a slight distortion on the threads. Uh, either way, chasing it with a tap is what fixes this. So I'm gonna go over to the vise and set this up. So I have my aluminum soft jaws here to protect the spindle and then I have a, uh, a matching Acme tap. This is a left hand tap so I'm just going to gently chase this down in here so I don't, uh, don't mar the threads or cross thread it and I'm going to take it till it binds up a bit. And then I'm just going to turn the tap. I don't need a tap handle because all I'm doing is just correcting the thread, cleaning the thread. Okay. I'll back it out. I'll give it a puff with the blow gun and then put some fresh lube in there. There's virtually no cuttings on there. We're just correcting the threads. Now I'm just gonna blow it out. Okay, so this is what the inside of the bore looks like. And this pin goes inside here from the bottom. It stops it from coming out. Okay, after I've blown it out, uh, I'm gonna take some fresh uh, lithium grease and I'm gonna schmutz that into the, uh, the threads. All right, so before I reassemble it, I'm just gonna take the opportunity to wipe the bore out and make sure that the bore is clean and make sure that the seal is clean. Uh, this stuff is always being bombarded with chips, so it's a good opportunity to clean it out. Okay, for reassembly, we're just uh, reversing the steps. I'm gonna put the, uh, the slot at the bottom because I wanna line up the, uh, the key dowel. 
and I'm going to be careful not to damage the seal and I'm going to just gently reassemble it. There we go. Pick up the screw. Now I'm going to align the, the slot. This is what my pull dowel looks like. It's just a regular pull, pull dowel with a machined key on the end. Now I'm going to slip that up into the slot and I'm going to turn the Turn the spindle until that falls into place. That's perfect. I'm going to hold it tight. Turning the set screw to retain the dowel. And then remove the, the screw that I used to pull. All right. I'm going to drop some oil into these, uh, uh, these oilers. Well, I have uh, well, I have it out on my bench. There we go. I'm going to put it back into service now. So now we're going to reinstall the tail sock, how we found it. So I'm going to take the stop screw out, put that aside, and I have to wrestle the tail sock back into position. So we're going to hang it on the ways, and I'm going to align the plate. Slide it on and then return the stopper screw and tighten the jam nut. First off, I'd like to say thank you, Andrew, for helping me make this video. It couldn't have been done without you. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them as soon as I possibly can. Thank you and have a good night.